In Pacific Drive, the Olympic exclusion zone is riddled with anomalies that make it super dangerous to go anywhere. When random wild things happen, your best defense is a dependable vehicle full of reliable tools. Once you finish your first real drive, you'll unlock the Fabricator, which prints out blueprints for all sorts of upgrades. Almost too many at first glance. So which ones should you get first? We've picked eight that you should aim for, because it's fun to make half a Back to the Future reference. We'll start with the side rack, found under the expansion rack tab. Note that you'll need to research the steel sheet in the refine tab as well. There are a few prerequisites like that on this list. With side racks, you'll be able to mount all sorts of things to the rear side windows of your car. This will be a big help for many of the upgrades in the game, not just the ones we're recommending here. The next of which is side storage, found under the car storage tab. Pacific Drive is driven by its crafting system, which means you'll need to gather and store a ton of resources. Side storage, as the name implies, will help. You'll probably run out of free space in your very first run. We definitely did. With this upgrade, you'll be able to bring back a bunch more goodies from out in the field. Our next pick goes hand in hand with that, the Hand Vac, found under the Survival Tools tab. You can probably already guess what it does. Busting up wrecked cars and other objects grants resources, but they always scatter on the ground. This handy little tool can suck them right up, which means you get to skip pressing the button for every individual item. When a game has as much crafting as this, that's a major time saver. Of course, some resources are a bit more special, like the anchors. To help collect more of those, we recommend the Anchor Radar, another of your survival tools. Anchors are marked on your car's GPS, but once you're on foot, you no longer have access to that. You can drop a waypoint, sure, but that doesn't always help when you're walking through a deep, dark forest. The Anchor Radar works like bat vision, briefly lighting up the area and pinging nearby anchors. It's a much more convenient way of doing things. If it's too dark for you in general during the nighttime, then you're really going to want our next upgrade, the Relightable Flare. It's under the Lights tab. Unlike regular road flares, which ignite once and burn until they fizzle out, the Relightable Flare can be turned on and off like a flashlight. It's dark out there, y'all, and you need to be able to see where you're going, especially inside some of those abandoned buildings. If you're going off-road, then you definitely need the off-road tires which you can get from the Wheels tab after acquiring the Summer Tires blueprint. We really can't recommend this upgrade enough. Let's be honest, you're not always going to stick to the roads. You're going to take a few shortcuts and go mountain climbing in your car. Off-road tires make that much easier. And when you're driving off-road, you're going to end up hitting a few trees. That's where our next pick comes into play. It's the Steel Bumper, and you'll find it under the Car Body tab. There are several steel parts to choose from, but we recommend going with the bumper first, because you're more likely to run into an obstacle while backing up or speeding forward. Fender benders are pretty much inevitable in this game. Finally, you can head to the Fuel tab to get our last upgrade, the Large Fuel Can. This one barely even needs explaining. More fuel means your car can drive further. Truthfully, you aren't going to need to fuel up all that often in the early parts of the game, and you can always top off your starting gas can inside Oppie's garage. However, you can't put a price on the peace of mind you'll get from having even more extra gas ready to go. There's enough stuff to worry about in this game already. And those are our picks for the first upgrades you should grab in Pacific Drive. These ought to make your trip through the exclusion zone just a little more safe and secure. Drive on over to IGN for more.